calibrating your XL-XR metering pump. The XL-XR metering pump fits seamlessly into the process control requirements of every application and provides everything you need for complete control. In this video, we'll walk you through the calibration of your pump to your process. Remember to always read the instruction manual carefully, paying particular attention to warnings and precautions before installing or making changes to any pump. Always follow safety procedures including the use of proper clothing, eye and face protection. To prepare for calibration, first make sure the pump is stopped. If you need to stop the pump, press the Start Stop button located on the left of the display screen. Notice the pump status indicator icon and its corresponding LED. If the green LED is illuminated, the pump is operating and when the LED light is off, the pump is stopped. Once you stop the pump, fill your calibration column. Then take the pump out of service by closing the valve to the reservoir tank and open the valve to the calibration column. Be sure to make note of the starting fluid level. Let's get started. Locate the settings icon at the bottom of the screen and press its corresponding button. You should now be in the settings menu. Using the context sensitive arrow buttons below the lower left of your screen, navigate to the calibration icon and press the context sensitive button for the enter icon. You should now be at the pump calibration screen. Press the start stop button on the left side of the display to start the pump. The green LED power light will illuminate to show the pump is now operating. While the pump is pumping, the stroke count and total volume on your display will increase and fluid will begin to empty from the calibration cylinder. Once the fluid level approaches the bottom of the scale on the column, stop the pump before the level goes below the scale. Note, pumping a complete cylinder allows for a more accurate calibration. With the pump stopped, you can now review the calibration settings. In this example, we will use the flow rate identified on our screen of 18 gallons per hour. The total stroke count is 53, with a total volume of 418 milliliters. We will need to adjust the total volume field area using the up-down arrow buttons on the right side of the display to match the fluid amount drawn down from the calibration cylinder. In our example, we are adjusting to 490 milliliters. At this point, we can save, restart the calibration, or cancel and exit. To restart the calibration, press the context-sensitive menu button for the restart symbol in the lower left of your screen. To cancel the calibration, press the context-sensitive menu button for exit. To save the calibration, press the context-sensitive menu button for save. A save symbol will flash in the upper right corner of your screen. For our demonstration purposes, we will save our settings. Notice the small save icon that appears briefly in the upper right corner of the screen. Calibration is now complete. To exit the calibration screen, press the context sensitive menu button exit twice. Once back at the main display, the screen will reflect our calibration changes. A calibration icon is displayed in the upper left corner of the notification area indicating that the pump is now calibrated. To put the pump back in service, be sure to close the calibration column valve and reopen the tank supply valve. For more information on the XL-XR metering pump, refer to the manual or contact your local sales representative. LMI provides one of the most extensive lines of chemical metering pumps and controllers around the world with a commitment to quality and reliability that are unsurpassed in the industry. Visit us online or contact your local stocking distributor. You can rely on LMI.